Hi everybody, it's Juju Chang, co-anchor of ABC News Nightline. I've never been more proud of our team. Our dedication during the pandemic is just an extension of the work that's being honored with a Gracie in the news program category. Hooray. Thank you to the Alliance for Women in Media Foundation and a special thanks for Trans and Targeted, our story looking at violence against trans women of color, which was honored in the hard news feature category. A special shout out to our EP, Steve Baker, producers Just Hopper, Iggy Torres, and Emily Taguchi, as well as our co-host, Dominique Jackson. Stay safe out there, everyone. Be well. What's up, it's Angela Yee, and I want to thank the Alliance for Women in Media Foundation for this Gracie. The Gracie, as I've always said, is one of the most prestigious awards just because it's from other women, and I know how important it is for us to support each other. So again, this means so much to me. Shout out to my ladies from Lip Service, and thank you all so much. It is so much appreciated, especially during this time. I screamed when I found out that Lip Service actually won. So shout out to all of the other winners, too. Congratulations to all of you. What? <laughs> Thank you to the to the Alliance for Women and Media Foundation for these two incredible Gracie Awards. Best lead actress in a comedy and best director. I am floored. I am feeling, well, very unworthy, something I will talk to my therapist about later. Thank you for all that you do. Uh, for providing scholarships to young women who aspire to be in this industry. For acknowledging all the very hard wor hardworking women out there. Um, I am... I am just floored. Thank you. Hey y'all, Elena out in Nashville, Tennessee, and I just wanted to take a second to thank the Alliance for Women in Media Foundation for constantly lifting women up in this industry and celebrating all of the amazing accomplishments in media throughout the year. And thank you for honoring me with a Gracie Award this year. I can't wait to celebrate with everybody out in Beverly Hills, and I can't wait to see you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you all. Stay safe out there. Ginger Z here in my basement still, even though it looks like I'm in the studios at Good Morning America. Things have changed so much, but one thing that has not changed is my gratitude. Uh, I am so sorry we can't all be together to celebrate, but I am so grateful uh, to the Alliance for Women in Media and also just everyone at the Gracies. Uh, Inside Frozen 2 was truly into the unknown for us, and for me to host it, the producers that worked on it with me, we hadn't done anything like this, a podcast about one movie, but I'm going to tell you right now the demand was there and the people who created it were all so fascinating. We could have done twice as many episodes. Um, to know what goes into making something, a phenomenon like that, it's the start of hopefully something we can do more of in the future. I'm so grateful and really feeling blessed by this award and I want to share it with the whole team. So thank you, thank you, and I hope everyone is healthy and well. Heather Hunter, thank you for awarding me with the Local Talk Radio Producer Award. I really appreciate it, especially being honored among so many other talented women as a mother, wife, and executive producer for a local talk station. It's a great honor. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, I'm Bevy Smith. Thank you to the Alliance for Women and Media Foundation. It really means the world to me to receive a Gracie from you. Um, I came to radio late in life because Andy Cohen asked me if I won the radio show on Sirius XM. And I said, sure. Um, I had been doing TV and I thought the TV was the ultimate connecting media, but I soon found out I was wrong. There's nothing like a radio listener um, and you really do connect with your fans. And to have relationships now with my listeners, women um, primarily from all across the country um, that don't look like me, don't sound like me, we don't have the same backgrounds often, different races, sexual orientations, and yet we connect every single day on Radio Andy. It means a lot to me. And I would like to just say, I'm accepting this award in my dad's honor, Gus Lee Smith, who passed away on April 11th, 2020, of coronavirus, thank you. You know the thing I love about the Gracies is that these awards honor women. This work is for women and about women, by women, and I'm so grateful to be included in that category of women journalists and females making a difference around the world. This story was deeply personal to me, and so I'm just tickled that it was well received. Thank you so much. <laughs>